Meanwhile, the Ghana National Fire Service has urged corporate institutions and industries to take first safety measures seriously, particularly in this hammer turn season. Now, the National Fire Service has also advised regular training be organized for staff on the use of first aid firefighting equipment for timely intervention during outbreaks. This comes as the service undertakes its routine monitoring exercise of some facilities aimed at ensuring institutional and industrial fire incidents are prevented or managed with the proper tools required. In a statement, the service said the routine exercise is also to enable the service directorate acquaint itself with the realities on the ground. So let's now engage the fire service ACFO1 Timothy Osafo Afum, who is the head of the public relations of the service. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Newsnight. Now, the, in the official statement you issued indicated that two persons were killed. However, affected residents gave figures as three. How do we reconcile the two? Is there any new development? Yes, thank you very much. Um, as at the time we were filing our reports, two bodies had been recovered. So if um, later one other person was discovered, then that, that is it. Okay. And how is the services routine monitoring exercise going so far? Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, we have a specialized team that is going around ensuring that um, the public adhere to safety precautions so that we will be able to reduce fires that can be prevented. For the fires, because we use fires every day, fires will occur. But those that, that are preventable, those are the ones that we are fighting to ensure that they don't occur. Right. A lot of people have accused your outfit for acting very late and using outmoded, uh, you know, technology to attend to fires, uh, particularly with the circle incident, for instance. Can you tell us more on that particular incident? Well, thank you very much. Um, I think anybody who accuses us of um, responding to incidents late doesn't know what he or she is talking about. You see, I have always been saying that the fire service, we are not magicians. Unless you inform us that there is an incident, we will not be able to determine where there is an incident. Therefore, we have been urging the public that as soon as you observe a fire anywhere, get in touch with us so that we can also respond on time. Most often, people report uh, the incident very late after trying their hands on them and if they are unable before they get in touch with us. For instance, uh, this circle fire this morning, um, our sources indicate that the fire started around 1, but they managed to inform us just getting to 3 o'clock. And so look at the uh, time interval, and the structures there too are wooden. So how do you expect a fire that has been reported uh, one hour late? You should even congratulate us for able to save uh, uh, some of the slums and the surrounding buildings around. But Timothy, there's been instances where, you know, even the wire that supplies the water to quench the fire is usually shorter that it, it cannot even reach certain buildings. How do you respond to that? Right. Um, let me also uh, use this to answer your first question that we are using outmoded equipment. Uh, no, we are not using outmoded equipment. What is happening is that uh, the vehicles are getting aged and they need to be changed. That doesn't mean it's, it is uh, outmoded. So that uh, answers for it. Now, you see, if you don't have access to the seat of the fire, then you have to couple a, a number of horses in order to get to the incident scene. Now, when this happens, it is not the fault of the fireman. You see, the compartment of the fire tender can only take a certain number of uh, fire hoses. And you don't compromise other equipment because you need more fire hoses. Okay. What is happening is that city authorities must be able to create access routes for the fire service to be able to work effectively. So if you get there and your host does not get to the incident scene, then it means 
the distance from where the first uh, tender will stop to where the actual fire is occurring has a long distance, and that is what uh, happens that way. Okay. Right? It is not a deliberate yeah. effort on our part not to equip our fire tenders. No. Yeah. The fire tender, like I earlier said, has compartments, each compartment and what it holds. We okay. cannot uh, 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 use other compartments for other, other things. Therefore, nobody should blame us. We know what we are doing. Okay. Okay. Are, are there instances where people give you prank calls? As for the prank calls, they come in, in severally. Every day, we can record as many as 250 prank calls. Right. But we have also developed uh, ways of, of cutting down these prank calls so that we don't make unnecessary movements. Okay. Timothy, thank you very much for speaking to us.